What's going on everybody? It's your boy C4 and today jumping into some early Madden 17 news. So as you know, we did my roster reveal for projected Madden 17 ratings. You guys seem to enjoy that and I do enjoy making them for you. But now it has come time where Madden is going to slowly start leaking out official roster uh, overalls. And today they did announce the top 10 rookie player ratings in Madden 17. So we'll take a jump in at the, at the quick top 10 here. And uh, see how we fared. See how my Madden 16 custom rosters fared up. So at number one, uh, they give it to Jalen Ramsey. He was an 82 overall. Uh, he has 93 speed, 94 acceleration, 90 agility, 85 man, and 84 zone. Uh, I was not surprised to see him as the highest overall rated player. I think he was the best player in this year's uh, draft class. He also has 93 jumping, so it's going to be great against the uh, you know the aggressive pass catching. You know the fucking the stupid goddamn aggressive catch, which I assume is going to be in this game again. Uh, from all the videos we've seen. So Ram Ramsey is going to be an absolute stud, and he definitely deserved to be the number one uh, overall rated rookie. Uh, number two, they gave it to Ezekiel Elliott with 80 overall, so it's kind of surprising the only one with two players in the 80s. Uh, but Elliott is, you know, very hyped, and then hopefully for Dallas fans, he can live up to the hype. Uh, he had 92 speed, 90 acceleration, 91 agility, 86 carrying, and 91 ball carrier vision. I would not be surprised to see him have some decent run blocking as well, as that was a major uh, attribute that he had in the draft phase that made him so attract to, to some teams. But uh, Elliot coming at number 80, I was not surprised. I would have guessed uh, between Elliot, Bosa, and Ramsey uh, to get the top overall rated. So Elliot, number two at 80. Um, what do we got here? Number three is going to be Ronnie Stanley. They gave him a 79 overall. Uh, he has 83 run block, 86 pass block, not 82 strength, uh, 83 impact block, and 66 speed of the stats they gave him. Kind of surprised on the 82 strength, man. Uh, but then again, he didn't do super good on the old bench press. But, uh, you know, those are pretty solid stats and definitely will develop for, you know, debatably the tough tackle in this year's draft class, him and Tunsil. Uh, it said they gave him 80 agility and 75 acceleration, so it gives him great speed, similar speed to a Terran Armstead of the New Orleans Saints. So he's number three. Number four is Roberto Aguayo, the kick for the Bucks, a heavily criticized pick, but for Madman, he's going to be a great kicker. Uh, he was 79 overall. He has 92 kick power, 94 kick actually, 74 speed. Um... But, I mean, that is just phenomenal. I mean, through he's going to be probably the next great kicker in Madden history. If he's already starting out with 92 kick power, 94 accuracy, it's only to go up unless, you know, he absolutely shits the bed. But I uh, wasn't surprised that they'd give him a high rating because he was such a highly drafted kicker. Uh, number five is Joey Bosa of the San Diego Chargers. They give him a 79 overall, uh, 84 finesse move, 80 power move, 80 speed, 82 block shed, and 84 pursuits. That is an incredibly well-rounded card. Um, I mean, from a from a base athletic standpoint, the 80 speed is not great because we don't know if they're going to use him as a defensive and or an outside linebacker yet. So uh, that could be hindrance if the, the Chargers somehow make him outside linebacker and they'll have to you know adjust that card uh, with the first couple of different updates they do for the rosters. But for a defensive end, those are great stats. Uh, number six is Laramie Tunsil. They, so they have started out at left guard. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if they've the Miami Dolphins have come and said he's going to play guard, but he's 78 overall, 81 run block, and, uh, 84 pass block, 88 strength, 83 impact block, and 65 speed. I assume his rating would probably jump up into like 80, 81 if you moved him back to left tackle. But, uh, I mean, because those stats, base stats, are definitely... They look like they're a little bit better than what they gave Ronnie Stanley. So I assume if you move Tunsil out to tackle, uh, his rating would go up. Because 78 is a little low for, uh, you know, in my opinion, Tunsil and Ramsey were the top two players in this year's draft class. But still good enough to have the sixth highest rate. Uh, number seven is Jack Conklin of the Titans with a 79 overall. I think that's a little too high. Uh, I would have liked to see maybe Carson Wentz or Jared Goff be up here. But uh, maybe, you know, it's just a little bit biased to me. But the 79, Jack Conklin has 84 run block, 81 pass block, 84 strength. 81 impact block and 72 speed. Uh, so I mean that, and he also has 81 acceleration. So his run blocking is going to be pretty solid and very nice to pair up with the likes of Demarco Murray and the likes of Marcus Mariota. Uh, going to number eight, and it's going to be one of the top players I can't wait to use in Ultimate Team. It's going to be Corey Coleman, the wide receiver of the Browns, with a 78 overall. They gave him 93 speed, 93 acceleration, 90 agility, seven, uh, 93 jumping, and 91 spectacular catch. So he's going to be incredibly tough in one-on-one -on -one situations. I can already see him being overpowered in the slot. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't actually say his base catch stat yet. Uh, I'd assume uh, it says he has 80, 80 route running, which maybe that actually affect him uh, playing in the slot. But then you just, just fucking stick him outside and uh, throw up the Hail Mary. Well, he won't be too good on the aggressive catch, though, because I don't think he's over 6 feet tall. I think he's like 5'11", but, uh, you know, still not a bad rating at all. Uh, goal number 9 is going to be Hunter Henry, the tight end for the Chargers. So two Chargers making the top 10 here. Uh, Hunter Henry, the 78 overall with 84 speed, 89 acceleration, 80 jumping, 
uh, or 80 acceleration, agility, ugh, 82 jumping and 80 catching. Uh, he also has 77 run blocking, so he's an incredibly well-rounded tight end. And, you know, Madden players, don't worry. When Antonio Gates decides to hang him up, Hunter Henry is going to be the next very good tight end in a Chargers uniform to use in these Madden games. Judging by these stats, they're only going to get better. And wrap up the top 10. Yes, no quarterbacks made it. We're going with DeForest Buckner, the defensive end for the San Francisco 49ers. So they gave a 78 overall. Uh, they gave him 86 tackle, 87 hit power, 83 power move, 82 block shit, and 84 pursuit. He's 6'7", 291. Uh, that is just 87 hit power. That's going to force a lot of fumbles. Um, but I was kind of surprised, man. I mean, Buckner could have made it. I'm really only honestly surprised. Maybe Hunter Henry and Jack Conklin for this list. No quarterbacks. Thought they would have gave at least Goff, trying to be as unbiased with Carson Wentz. He's, Carson Wentz is probably going to be a 75. But I'm really surprised they didn't give Goff at least a 78. Maybe he is. Maybe 77. And just missed out on this out on this list. But there you have it, guys. Those are the top 10 rookie player ratings officially from Madden. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We're going to be a lot. There's going to be a la la lot of Madden 17 content coming on the channel. So I hope you guys are going to be with me in the Madden 17 season. And until next time, it's your boy C4 saying peace out.